Yo guys, it's Daniel back here with another episode of Minecraft Let's Play and in today's episode, rather than just going through what we have built over the week, we shall actually try to build something. So this is, uh, has been a long-standing project for quite a bit of time and I'm finally deciding to visit it because, well, sometimes things happen as well. So let me just give you guys a little recap, right? So when I started this world, I was like, you know, why not just travel 10,000 blocks away and make a base there. So as you can see, our college right now is about 9,500, negative 10,600. So I thought it would be a brilliant idea, right? Wow, we just go so so far away from spawn that, you know, you probably encounter some unique things. And yeah, indeed, we did encounter some pretty unique, like terrain generation and whatnot. But here comes the problem, right? So sometimes when I do projects, I don't make extra bits. I sometimes use my own bit, so I break it. And I place it there and set my spawn. But the problem is sometimes I forget to break this bit. Not not forgetting to break the bit, but more of forgetting to set my spawn once I've replaced the bit in my house. So what happens if if I am alive, I go all the way back to spawn, which is about 8-8. Eight, eight. Not a very pretty uh, difference there. Eh? So the main way to combat this would be to make a never hub, which... I've been wanting to do, but I have delayed for so long because of the amount of ice I had together. But finally, the day has come. So today, in today's episode, we are finally building the so-called shell of the Never Hub. So we're going to teleport into the Never right now, and we'll show you the coordinates that we have. So as you know, in the Never, your coordinates are divided by roughly 8 times. So Right now, it's about 1,200 and negative 1,300. And we have to go all the way to 0, 0, or rather 1, 1, but it doesn't really make a difference. So that is where spawn is. And in the never, 1,000 blocks away, ain't nothing, especially for an ice boat. And am I hearing a freaking hawk within somewhere? Huh. Oh, he's down there. Yeah, so having a blue ice boat in the never, only 1,000 blocks away. That's easily about maybe a minute tops. If I go diagonally, it's probably about like 20-30 seconds tops. But yeah, it's, it's going to be some good shit. So in today's video, we're going to be building a never hub. We're probably going to replace the flooring with glass, frosted glass probably. So we're going to be probably layering purple and magenta to like mimic a never portal all the way down. And we'll, we'll, we'll make something, we'll make a sort of shell, since we're using red nether bricks, so we'll probably do that on the outside as well. And maybe add a beacon at the top of this, we shall see, we shall see. But, well, that's enough talking guys, so I shall bring you guys with me on the journey of gathering some materials, excluding the ice of course, because the ice is horrendous. I got a, a few a few shulker boxes of blue ice, about 9 shulker boxes, and it took me like a a few weeks. No, not really a few weeks. I would say about two weeks just to gather that much ice. But well, with that being said, guys, I hope you enjoyed this time lapse and I'll see you guys at the end of the time lapse and we shall see how we can move forward to making that ice path as well as the boats because boat placements can be tricky when making ice paths. So with that being said, guys, I'll see you in a build in a little bit.
Alright guys, and we are back from that little, not real time lapse, but well, it is something. And here are all our materials, most of it at least. So as you can see, we are probably going to be layering with some glass here. We got purple glass and we have magenta glass. So all the miscellaneous stuff, the carpets to stop the boats, and as well as our scaffolding and whatnot to basically just help out a bit. But yeah, these are all the ice shulker boxes. And you have no idea what happened to the ice bottom that I completely destroyed. But yeah, it is what it is. Uh, we'll probably use the boats from here as well. Because why the hell not, since we already have boats here anyway. And I could probably use some ice here. I think this is packed ice, because it doesn't look exactly like blue ice. Yeah, it's probably packed ice. But yeah, we can start building this thing. I'm probably going to start building from the bottom, because it, uh, it's probably easier. And I can place the scaffolding the easier way. So let me unhide this thing here. As you can see... We have the freaking layout everywhere and we are just going to pretty much lay out the scaffolding so we can start building uh, from the bottom here because if we don't build from the bottom we're going to have a little bit of a gap in the center which is not going to be very nice. So with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this time lapse and I shall start recording with replay mod. So I'll see you guys once we have completed the shell of the never hub. Alright guys, so there you have it. So this is our newly acquired Never Hub. And basically all of these are the cardinal directions, so north, south, east, west, and as well as the north, east, south, east, and all that kind of stuff. And the boats are placed in such a way that... So for example, if I get into this boat, if you were to look at that part there, that my editor will show, you'll see that my angle is facing exactly at 45 degrees. So when I place a boat, it will face exactly at 45 degrees and it won't make me bump into the walls or into this thing. It will just make me go into straight ice and be having smooth journeys all the way ahead to wherever we need to go. So it's basically the same thing for everything except for this one. Apparently, I'm having some problems. It's probably a bug of some sort because only in this north direction towards negative x, uh, negative z, sorry, I can't place the boat facing at 180 degrees. It's just off by 1.4 degrees every single time. So it's probably some kind of bug. So don't really want to think about it. So yeah, that's about it for today's episode. So probably in the next episode, you'll see that this part over here, this part over here is probably fully developed because this is where we need to go towards positive Z and then we'll go towards negative X where we'll see our spawn. And that should take about 50 seconds from the last time I, I tried it. So from my calculations. But yeah, that's about it. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. I hope you enjoyed the time lapse. And that should be for today's episode. If you guys liked the episode, please do drop a like and subscribe if you enjoy the rest of my content. And of course, guys, leave any comments for suggestions, for any builds you want to see, for any other games you want to see me play. And I'll take a look at what I can do about it. And with that being said, guys, thanks for watching and peace out.